Following Saturday's devastation in El Paso, first responders there are getting a little support all the way from San Antonio. Eyewitness News reporter Jalisa Irizadi explains how. In the midst of the hustle and bustle, sometimes it's good to just stop. Produce it. And it's even better to do it with one of these. So it just lightens everybody's spirits generally in the room. Um, I mean, it's, it's uh, heart melting to see them interact. Meet Rudy and Chanel, two dogs who have made a living being there at the worst of times. Our first responders and hospital staff see so much every day and just a lot of times there's never an opportunity to really process that. Cue these two Methodist Healthcare Facility dogs who specialize in providing comfort to first responders and hospital staff dealing with high stress situations. A lot of them say it just changes the course of their day when they get that chance to interact with her and play with her, especially after a bad situation that they've been through. Which is why they're at San Antonio International. We begin with breaking news headed to another bad situation. A deadly mass shooting at a Walmart in El Paso, Texas. Brandon Miller got the call last night and didn't hesitate. Absolutely not. The dogs will spend the next few days in the El Paso area hospitals and first responder stations. It's hard for people to understand that just even one patient that goes from EMS to the hospital touches hundreds of people in its own way. And when it's an incident like this uh, affects your community, it is um, even more personal and harder to deal with. They're fairly instinctive in picking out a person in crisis, so uh, you will actually see them head straight for a person that, that's displaying the most distress. It's uh, pretty amazing to watch. A gift these two will continue to give over the next few days as they reach places in the heart. Wow, what a big dog. Julie Cerizari, Ken's 5 by Witness News.